Over the past year, I've been turning Minecraft into different styles as a way to learn game development. And today, I might have created the most insane game known to man. <laughs> oh, let's go! Let's go! Did you design these sprites? Could you link me up with the artist? I have some custom commissions. Here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna have six Minecraft-inspired characters based on the Creeper, Blaze, Enderman, Dragon, Warden, and Villager. Over five rounds in-game, you talk to each of them, and every round you eliminate one until you are left with your soulmate in the end. So I set out to make this abomination using Rampai, which is specifically designed to make games like this. So th this shouldn't be too hard, right? So uh, here's what we have to start with. Yeah, n uh, not great. <laughs> We're gonna need a full redesign of the entire interface. Starting from the basics, let's go ahead and make a good main menu, because God knows I have no idea how to code in this thing right now. And after an hour of work, I was left with this. Yeah, it it's... It's horrible, okay? No time to waste, though. I made a simple black text box with a white line at the top so we have the background for our dialogue, and I also looked through some free pixelated fonts and settled on this one. Kong text. I just... I thought the name was funny. I also decided to use this incredible villager portrait as a temporary window for the game. So this is the placeholder for a, for the villager that I have right now, and that's gonna be our game icon for now. It was at this point that I realized that considering the atrocity that was the main menu, I would not be able to draw, you know, hot Minecraft-inspired characters. I had to contact an expert in the field. So I texted my friend Mar, aka Tanupoke, to get some help with this insanity. And while waiting for Mar to work on the actual designs, we were gonna use these, um, blaze holders. It's just gonna go, he's just gonna stand right there. So, this is gonna be the blaze right here. This is gonna be the Enderman right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh no! What the f*** is this? With the main menu done, I needed a background for the characters to stand in front of, but I was not confident in my drawing skills. So to get an idea of what to do, I hopped into a Minecraft world and started building a little park with a cherry tree and a fence that would lead to the crafting club. I used a bare bones texture pack to get a bit of a cleaner style and I took some screenshots. And this is already a good screenshot right there. I pulled out my barely used drawing tablet and using my original screenshot as a base, I started to draw the entirety of the background by hand. Once most of it was done, I also added the main building of the crafting club in the background, I added all the contours to every block, and some details like the cherry flowers, grass texture, and some petals. I checked how it would look in Photoshop, and called it a day. This was a very long process. Well, that took a while. Also, I didn't really like this purple pattern I used for the background, so I made this weird zigzag stripey thing. I don't know, alright. It is insane how foul that looks. At this point I started to get used to the scripting, and added all the characters in it, as well as the basic structure for the elimination rounds. I then got sent the first drawing from Mar, the Creeper. Yeah, that's, pre <coughs> that's pretty good, that's pretty good. C Chrissy! Um, hi there. <laughs> I immediately imported it into the game, and we had a bit of a problem. <laughs> Damn! Do we really have to fix it? I'm not... Oh! Oh! You see, there were two issues. Number one, I had to find a way to position the character to the right of the screen, so there would be space in the middle for player choices. And two, I wanted to have the text box appear on screen the entire time, even when no one was speaking. Because the characters were only drawn from the legs up, and if the text box disappeared, it would reveal the void below them. This last one I just solved by actually integrating the text box into the background image, and then for the character I just moved them to the right spot in Photoshop. Because there was absolutely no way I was gonna get into perfectly positioning them through in-game code. So we got our absolutely atrocious main menu here. We're gonna change these images soon. I, I swear we're gonna... Ch <laughs> the game immediately went from an absolute disaster to actually looking scarily good. At this point, the game was looking very solid. So I decided to look for some free music for the main menu and a track for each character. This is pretty nice. This could be the main menu team. Yeah, we can use this for the Enderman. I think this is great. Oh, damn. And this sounded awesome. With a soundtrack in place, the game was starting to really take shape now. To keep adding some life to the game, I started working on animating the main menu. We gotta, we gotta fix this thing. This looks foul. And we're gonna have sort of a float animation there. I separated the background and the title in Photoshop and brought them into Premiere to make a small animation. I exported the video, threw that into the folder, and boom. This thing looked great. Oh, oh my god, that's great. Oh, very nice. I then went through the arduous task of making every bit of UI pink. Great, I like the new highlighting. 
think highlighting works much better. I also took a little bit of time to remove some extra options that were here by default. Now, the game is gonna be super short, so I don't really need to have any saving mechanics. And at this point, the game started to look actually fully fleshed out. Very importantly, though, I wanted to give the characters some sort of a voice when they spoke, like in Animal Crossing or Undertale. Oh! It's working! Now, I don't think this is the appropriate voice, but it, it actually works! So I sampled some sounds of my own voice for the male characters. Ha <laughs> ha. Enderman. Villager. And some samples of my girlfriend's voice for the female ones. Blaze. Okay. This made the game so much better with just one change. The characters felt so much more alive and it was looking fantastic. I also got the final Enderman drawing from Mar and threw that boy right in the game. Damn, look at this man. Yeah, I just... What's <laughs> popping, Andy? What's popping? Hey there, you're new around here. I suppose we gotta get to know each other or something, whatever. My name's Andy. Mara had also sent me some extra sketches for the other characters, so I went ahead and replaced my horrible placeholders with uh, those to get a better idea of what the final game would look like. Blaze works great. Okay, that's still working. Oh god, oh my god, this is sick. <laughs> this might be too much. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is great. At this point, I couldn't avoid it anymore. It was scripting time. I started to make an outline of what the characters would talk about in each of their five phases, developed their personalities a little further, and added all of that in my script. I filled every possible bit of conversation in, and also I made sure the characters would uh, reference each other at times, to make it look like they knew each other. This took hours. It was the most grueling part of this whole process. Okay, everything looks to be working. Jesus, that was... that was tough. I was honestly in shock at how good this was. Let's see if this works, even. With all of that very difficult stuff out of the way, I got the final drawings for the dragon and blaze from Mar. Oh my god. Pause. If you're this far into the video, it means you probably think it's pretty good. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my next upload whenever it comes out. Thanks. Oh, oh my god, dude. Dude, look at the abs, dude. What the hell? Okay. This is gonna be the game of the century. That's what this is gonna be. I'm Blair. I'm sure you'll be a great addition to the crafting club. Wait, is that, is that it? I, gotta, I still gotta make an alchemy stand. Get back here. Get out, look at those abs. <laughs> Did you design these sprites? Holy sh <laughs> All right. <laughs> As usual, I added them in game like the other ones, and I worked on finishing up all their dialogue. And at this point, we had four of the six characters, so it was time to think about how to end the game. I decided to put together a little picture for each character in Photoshop with some different drawings on them, and I was gonna add and animate this later on. I, it was a bit of a rough job, okay? Okay, these are just fine. They're fine. Uh, the ending doesn't really matter as much. <laughs> I think these are gonna be okay. I like this one specifically for no reason whatsoever, really. By the time that was done, I also got the Warden and Villager drawings, and they were both looking absolutely stunning. Oh, that is incredible! Wow. Wow. He's so cute! Look at this boy! Oh my god, he looks so cute! We got all of them! Look at my man. This guy is absolutely sick. He takes up half the screen. <laughs> I gave them the same kind of end screens as the other ones, and finished up the transitioning and scripting for each of the six different endings. These are so good. Okay. I also made a quick script to show some rolling credits at the end. And by made, I mean... <laughs> yoink! Mine now, b Thank you very much. I think it's actually done. Holy crap. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be really good. The game felt like it was pretty much done, but uh, something small was still missing. On the final day of development, I decided to add some new lines of dialogue, sound effects, and transitions each time you eliminate a character, so they wouldn't just, you know, be gone with no word. I think I'm gonna make the creeper explode when you eliminate her. This is exactly why. <laughs> Chrissy! Chrissy! And with that final detail, the game was finally done. I closed the project and called up my fellow men of culture to try out this newly made, honestly, a piece of art. <laughs> All right, here it is. Doki Doki Crafting Club. All right, start. Finally, it's your first day at the crafting club. Is this the place where you will finally find love? You were told the first meetup of the club would be right here, but it seems like nobody's made it yet. Oh, you start to walk towards the gate when suddenly... 
Cr Chrissy! Um, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> You're the new member of the crafting club, r right? I'm Chrissy. I'm kind of new around here, too. I hope you have fun at the crafting club. Yeah, me too. You just, you stay five blocks away and we won't have a problem, all right? I know, I know your type. I know your type. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bump into you there. I'm Blair. I'm sure you'll be a great addition to the crafting club. Anyway, I gotta run now. See you around. What accent even is that? Uh, good, good luck with your volleyball practice. Yeah, I just... What's popping, Andy? What's popping? Hey there. You're new around here. I suppose we gotta get to know each other. Name's Andy. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. See you around then. Ender pearls away. <gasps> Holy sh <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you design these sprites? Could you link me up with the artist? I have some custom commissions. Aren't you the new member? You're already late for class. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Man, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> Make sure you don't break the rules. All misdemeanors will be punished. It's time to break some rules. You're that new member everyone's been talking about. You're already pretty popular around here. Yeah, I am. I'm literally, have you heard of the Dream SMP? <laughs> I was just making my way to the greenhouse, you know, to tend to the plants. That's great. I'm not really into gardening. I prefer to automate, automate my farm. You should try it. Muffin. Ex what? I just met you. <laughs> Making something grow with your hands is really cool. You are coming on very strong right now, Wally. Sometime later. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Hey, Jerry. <laughs> great team. We are going to be a great team. <laughs> you think so? Nice to meet you. All right, then. Time to choose someone to eliminate. Yep. I haven't gone to class. Time to choose someone to eliminate. Okay. Going to get rid of Gene. Wally was was coming on really, really strong. Here, have a cookie. I baked it myself. Dude, that's really, actually, that's really sweet, Wally. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Wally shuffled his way into the crowd. He f***ed his spawn, no! Oh, hey there, nice to see you again. So, do you watch any shows? I watch a lot of uh, anime. Nerd, nerd. S sorry, got a bit excited there. That is a red flag, because I know what these things do. You're really early today. I was just taking my morning jog. I, I haven't moved from this spot. I, I haven't, like, people keep bumping into me. I haven't been able to go <laughs> just, home. I just want to sleep. Do you have any hobbies? Yeah, Minecraft. I'm into video games. That's, I am that's your hobby as well? <laughs> yes, yes, it's my job. My hobby is my hobby. You're pretty cool, you know. I guess that was right. We should hang out more. Oh. Have you gotten the chance to try out the telescope here at the crafting club? I actually haven't been able to <laughs> move. I haven't been able. I just want to get inside the door. I think it's just beautiful to observe the night sky with it. I don't feel like I can say no to her. Uh, uh, yeah, I love a, I love looking at the Big Dipper. <laughs> Big Dipper. <laughs> Hello, Muffin. I actually die, Wally. I have not even... Sorry, I'm... You're disgusting. <laughs> you're disgusting. Man. All right, who's next? Yeah! <laughs> Check this out. It's my ukulele. Just zips his out. That's what I call my. <laughs> I love you, Jerry. I like you a lot. Chrissy, I'm sorry. You've got to go. Every day I see you, your fuse is a little shorter. I'm getting worried. I'm so angry. Oh, this is exactly what I was trying to avoid. This is exactly why. <laughs> Chrissy! Chrissy! Do I get rid of Wally in a bit, idiot? We can still be friends? No, we can't. Jesus Wally Christ. Wally shuffled his bro. way into the ground. <laughs> That's disgusting. I mean, that is, uh, do you like, you know, costumes and all that? You weirdo. Jesus Christ. Weirdo. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Wrong leave wrong me alone. Have you met Wally yet? Uh, dude, I don't know how to tell you this. He's gifted me some baked stuff the other day. We've been playing some board games recently, but I feel like he always lets me win. Sounds like he was a really good uh, dude. <laughs> oh! Me and Blair are organizing a beach cleanup tomorrow. It's a bit pretentious, Jerry. What, but... You hate the environment now? I do hate sand, sand, Jerry. But God, just imagining <laughs> it in your ab folds. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of Blair. Blair's gotta go. No, I guess you wouldn't have a chance to try my dad's super spicy sauce. I'm sorry, Blair. I'm sorry. Blair blasted away. Blair blasted away. She's she's alive! Do you watch any movies? Love movies. I'm a pretty big movie fan. Me too. Andy, what do you mean you're a fan of movies? Like you just like the flashing colors and lights? I love the MCU. We should watch Infinity War sometime. I love Quant and Man Mania and I love Mad vs. Multiverse. This recording love... is getting worse and worse as it progresses, man. It's just getting deeper and deeper. Oh, I, actually feel, I actually feel delirious. Are you into fish by any chance? You're a fish all the time. <laughs> I study the ocean and all that stuff. Yeah, I'll 
fish for you. I've got cool. fish. I've <laughs> caught up Bobby. salmon. I really want to fish my ass, huh? You see? I don't remember it. What? <laughs> this is the coolest dude that has <laughs> ever been born onto this plane of existence, man. Chrissy, I hated you from the beginning. I'm so angry. I could... I could... Oh, Chrissy the Creeper. Did they just <laughs> sell? <laughs> I mean, you've bullied her for the entire time. That happens I when didn't... I think... No, 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 no. Okay, Chrissy, I'm so sorry. You gotta pick. God. This is a difficult one. No, I knew it would I knew it would end up like this. Andy, I only kept you around to do the voice. I'm sorry. Do you want to come over and play some games tonight? I'm sorry. You don't have to come over. No, no, no. I'd love to. I know a really nice jazz club nearby. Would you like to come with me tonight? I can't say no to her. I can't say no to her. Hey, kiddo. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, really cool. Very epically cool. Shoes. Oh. Oh, this is tough. No matter where I am, even if I'm with Gene, I'm thinking about one thing. And you know what that thing is? Don't follow your heart and be yourself. Pick the popular people. Put your personality to the side to be popular. Let's go, Jerry! Let's go! Let's oh go! Oh my god. Wait, what? It asked Wanted you to, go to pick Jerry. your soulmate, Tommy. No, but all the other one was at Liberty. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be unpopular forever. No, no, no. <laughs> you spend the day surfing and singing beach songs with Jerry. <laughs> You got the cherry ending. I got the handy ending. No, 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 no. I don't think I've ever been more satisfied in my life. <laughs> I won, but at what cost? A lot of people had to die to get here, but God damn it, it was worth it. If you want to try out the game, you can find a copy over on my Patreon as usual, as well as two full extra gameplay videos with Tommy and Charlie. That's it. Watch this other video next. Ciao.